if your computer is lacking or you're just looking for that performance boost, this video is gonna be great for you. We are gonna improve your boot time. We're gonna improve your performance in the internet and other applications. And for the gamers out there, this of course will raise your FPS and the smoothness of the game more than anything. Welcome back to the FPS channel. I'm your host and today we are going to be doing the window settings. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to start with our boot time and all things startup time related. So the first and easiest thing to do is come down to your taskbar, right click and hit task manager. Once you're here, I want you to come over to startup up here, click on startup and you will see all of your applications, pretty much all of them. And you're gonna wanna go in through here and disable anything that you don't want to be launching at startup. If you have these all enabled, it's going to be opening every single one of these. And you're gonna see this down here. Once you, if you click this little arrow right here, you get to see everything that's running in the back. This is drastically gonna improve your boot up time just by doing this, but the next step is really gonna get it. So if you guys wanna do this, just go through the list and disable anything that you don't think you need. I would keep softwares open that control your peripherals like me LG hub that's my mouse and my keyboard so I keep that on and other things like this go XLR application this controls my microphone so I let that go automatically same thing with the speakers but other things like my Google turn that off steam turn that off anything that you don't want to be opened each and every time that you launch your computer so next thing I want you guys to do is go down to the bottom left or just hit the Windows key on your keyboard. No matter what you do, just get here. And I want you guys to search exactly this. I want you to search system settings. What should show up is view advanced system settings. So you're gonna wanna click on view advanced system settings. This should open up right here. Once we're here, we're gonna wanna do a few things. We're gonna go down here, hit startup and recovery. So this is a big setting that you can change and I would highly recommend changing it, especially if you have a SSD or a higher end computer. This should by default probably be 30 seconds. So I would take this down to 10 seconds if you have a higher end PC. Now, if you have a lower end PC, please do not do this without setting up a recovery because what could happen is the next time you restart your PC, you get a blue screen and you're gonna have to reset your entire system if your computer cannot handle a 10 second boot time. Otherwise though, if you have an SSD or if you wanna upgrade to an SSD, I'll leave SSDs down below that I would recommend you guys upgrade to that are cheap, affordable, under hundred bucks, you can improve your computer drastically with an SSD and RAM. So I'll leave that down below. But basically anyone with a higher end PC, put this at 10 seconds, this is going to change your boot time drastically. This might be the biggest thing in the whole video that is going to change the ease of use of your computer. Everything else though could just stay default or however you wanna set it up, but this is the thing that you're gonna to need to change. So go ahead and hit okay. So we are now done with our startup and boot time. That should have drastically increased it. Now we wanna go back into this system properties area where we just were, and you're gonna to wanna to hit performance this time. So hit performance, and this is all visual effects. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is set this however you want. You could do adjust for best performance. That's just gonna turn everything off. I don't like to do all that because I like to have a few things on like show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges, but this is gonna change things like having a shadow behind your cursor or even whenever you drag. You see that mine's a little bit different. So that's what this is gonna do. It's just gonna change a few things. This should just be more of a smoothness thing, if anything, if you need it. But this is one of those things that's super low key, but it definitely does work. So go ahead and hit okay, okay, and we can get out of here. Make sure you hit apply when you're doing that last step there. But now we're gonna go back to our windows so we could search and you're gonna wanna search notifications and you're gonna see this notifications and action settings. So go ahead and click this, notifications and actions. So if this is the first time you're ever going on here, this is probably gonna be on and all of these will be on as well. What I would recommend is you turn this off. You don't need notifications from everything. Now, for me, I turn everything off. That might be a little too extreme for you, but you can keep this on and turn off select one. So if you want email notifications still, you could go find email and let it do that, or calendar notifications, for example. You can have those, but you don't need them from every single thing that Windows has to offer. So I would just keep it to the bare minimum. Less pop-ups, less all this stuff is going to improve smoothness. But in my case, I just turn it off completely. Now, while we're still in the settings tab, I want you guys to go down three and tap on storage. So when you're on storage, storage is a huge thing. If your disk drive is almost full, like mine is pretty full on the C drive, my A drive is has like two terabytes or something, so that one's fine. But this one is the one that has the windows. So if my one with the windows gets full, you will notice performance will drastically decrease. 
So some easy things that you guys can do here is clear out your temporary temporary files. This includes anything in your download file or in your trash file. So you can select which one you want to do. But once you have that, just click on whatever one you do after it's done scanning. You could do your recycle bin. You could do the downloads. You could do whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do these, hit remove, and then we clear up, you know, 500 megabytes just like that. And yours will be much higher probably if you've never done that. The first time I ever did it, it was multiple gigabytes. It was several gigabytes, but you're going to want to do that every once in a while. Or you could just come down here, configure storage sense or run it now. And you can have a setting here, delete temporary files and set this however you would like. So delete files in my recycle bin if they have been there for over 14 days. That's what I have it set as. Delete files in my downloads folder if they haven't been open for more than set it at whatever you want. Now, if you're really low on space, I would come down here and click clean now. So this should take a few minutes, but you're probably going to get better results than just seven megs if you haven't done much of this at all. But once you're done with that, we've done as much as we can really with the storage, except deleting apps. If you want to delete apps, just go through and just go ahead and type in uninstall and you'll see add or remove programs. And you can actually really, really clear up space here by deleting programs like any of these programs here. But that's entirely up to you. Now for the next thing we're going to do, I want you guys to go down to the bottom left again and hit power options. Once you click this, just hit power and sleep. And then you're going to want to go over here, hit additional power settings. So go over here, click that. And this should grant you with, well, a bunch of different options. So you're going to have probably just balanced. If you only have balanced, then you can create a power plan, come over here, create a power plan and make a high performance power plan. Or if you already have all these, just hit high performance. If you're on Nvidia specifically, if you're on AMD, Sometimes we perform better. I have an AMD card as well on balance. So you might want to stick with balance if you're on AMD. But if you're on NVIDIA, 10 out of 10 times high performance is going to do better for you for performance at least. But the one caveat is this is it does use more energy. The difference is quite minimal. It's not like you're going to notice anything in your electricity bill, but it is something worth noting. So now let's move on to the system itself. So the thing you're going to want to definitely make sure is you're going to want to type in Windows and find the update settings and make sure that this thing is up to date. So last checked, mine was today, 11.09. So I'm up to date, but you're going to want to always be up to date. This is the biggest thing when people come to me saying that their computer is lagging. You're going to want to make sure that your Windows is up to date because this could be bigger than anything. And the same thing goes for your drivers with your graphics card, your processor, etc. Now, as for the system, there are two ways to make your system faster. OK, the first way is to get an SSD. This is going to speed up the system. It's not going to necessarily improve your FPS. That's not something that's going to do, but you will load faster. Your load times will definitely shrink and SSDs are just better drives. I'll leave a few down below in each little budget based off of how many gigabytes, of course, but the budgets will be separate and this is the cheapest way to speed up your computer now the cheapest way to improve your fps and this is going to improve your frames and actual in-game gameplay is ram if you get more ram or better ram this right here will improve your fps so i'm going to leave a few options your computer is going to either have four slots or two slots most likely if you have more than that you can use more ram but the thing you need to look out for is the speed the clock speed of your ram if it's slow ram it's not going to do much so if you have two states but you have four slots you might as well just get two new sticks that are faster and replace those old two do not mix ram sticks and that's basically the gist of it i will leave those options down below but this is your windows settings for the year i will make a new one come 2022 and who knows windows 11 might pick up steam by then and we could be switching operating systems in total so thank you very much so as always, that has been your FPS guide channel. If you guys want more FPS guides, please do subscribe to the channel. And just like that, this video is over. Hopefully we helped you out. And if you have any questions, leave them down below.